Hello friends, this is Sunshine Annie working on my DIY composition book planner. Uh, this was the beginning page for April. I have not put on March or April's thingy here. <laughs> um, so yeah, need to do that. But anyway, this is what this one ended up like. Um, we had what we call in New England as a nor'easter, and we got lots of snow. Um, it is melting quickly, but that was a surprise. We ended up having a no school day and then a late start. Not something that we usually see in April. We have before, but not for a while. Um, this, I ended up adding in some flor ah, floral, some foliage at the top. I just Got in the mood for it. Um, these are my flowers and how they ended up. And then this is what the next two week spread is gonna look like for April 7th through the 13th and April 14th through the 20th. And I decided to keep it simple. I challenged myself this time to use these three greens. I ended up, um, picking these two because they are so close in color. They aren't quite, but when I looked at the color wheel, um, they both go well with the, the purple I chose and I chose these two purple. So these were the five that I challenged myself to use. Um, I probably could have left out this one and just gone with those four because this is this top piece and then the side is this. So I probably could have done the four. I could not decide between these two. So I used them both. And then I did use this, but this is just the color for the um, centers of my flowers. So that's what this is looking like. Um, it was fun to try to challenge myself to just use those colors. Um, I did use my color wheel. Um, I've been trying more to balance my colors out. So this is my color wheel that I got um, off Amazon. Um, I've already got paint splatters on it because I'm a messy, messy girl. But so it looks like this. And it was quite helpful. It, it, this is actually quite helpful. I have a smaller one that's the little twisty wheel. Um, but this one had also came with a piece that kind of explain the color wheel a little more and how to use those colors. And and um, so yeah, I'm trying, trying something new, trying to um, expand my knowledge on color. So this week is the week before our school vacation. And um, we don't, I don't have anything scheduled for this week. I will next week because I have an eye appointment on the 15th because I have a problem with one of my eyes and we're trying to get that sorted. And I have a, just a checkup at my doctor's. You know, as you get older, they get lots of appointments. So this week is just kind of gonna be a little bit crazy. Because of the eclipse tomorrow, we are changing our early release day and it's gonna be Monday instead of Wednesday. And then the rest of the week will be just normal, um, normal every day, normal every day. Um, we are eating leftovers tonight because we made a lovely American chop suey. My father, when I was growing up, called it slum gullion, don't know uh, we did try to look it up because my kids thought that was a horrible name, but, um, yeah, it's yummy. Macaroni with sauce, basically green peppers and my family got to have green peppers in it. Um, don't know if you guys have that, but let me know what you put in yours. We have to have, we have to have, um, whole, t whole chopped tomatoes, you know, the stewed tomatoes, the crushed we have to have green peppers and onions and pasta, usually elbows, macaroni, and, and beef, ground beef. And it's a favorite in the family. So um, today I did have to run some errands um, in 
downtown. And then I did some cleaning in my craft space. I wanted to get my paints and things closer and make space for working. So I did that today. I did some organization and some cleaning because, you know, when you pull things out, then you find all sorts of dust. And then uh, my priorities goals for this week. Um, again, it's healthy, healthy choices. I try to drink water as much as possible, but I'm really bad about that. I do like Diet Dr. Pepper and it's my bad habit. Be more active. I try to, you know, get steps in. I think one of the most important things that I've added in is my mindset and doing things that promote a healthy mindset. For me, that's my art. You know, it's, it's what works. For, for you to make you feel like you're um, reaching your goals. So this is what this week is looking like. Um, I'm also wanted to add a little bonus in to show you um, some of my other art I've been working on. So I'm gonna end this portion of my vlog. So this is what the end of my planner will look like for April 7th through the 13th and 14th through the 20th. This is my crunchy, chunky junk journal, but it's become an art journal. It did a, it did a morph. Um, and I know you've seen most of this, so I won't like bore you with all that. These are my latest pages. And this last week I had drawn these flowers. I fussy cut them out and this is what the background page ended up looking like. Um, it was white. I had put paint from, leftover paint from this on here, but I ended up covering it over with the green. And then I went crazy with some of the sprays. The um, Tim Holtz sprays. I used some of these oxide sprays. This isn't the one I used. This green, sorry about that. My chair makes awful noise. I used this um, mowed lawn. I did use a brown. I used the... Um, the brown and I think I used a little bit of soot but I used the stamp pad of the black soot to stamp some and I did I did use this is just white paint um, and I used the cap to one of my odds and end holder bottles and I just stamped it on um, so it doesn't have to be anything fancy splatters with the white paint some splatters with black, and I think I Posca penned, dotted around. Um, so that's what this was, and I put just bloom. It's that time of year I'm feeling like we all need to bloom, be happy. And I did want to update this page. I've been working on painting it in using a watercolor pencils. They're the DeWent watercolors that I've had forever. And so I've been doing this. It's almost finished. Do want to put um, some color there. And I'm trying to figure out if I'm happy with that one. But for the most part, it's almost done. So those are my two updates for my junk, junky art journal. This is from my Wanderlust class. And this was the last. This is why I decided to do circles this is embossed uh, let me try to make your frame sorry about that this is embossed using um just the embossing powders from ranger um this was some stamps i used they used a stencil and i didn't have the stencil so i just used um i had a a circle thing that i just went around with a embossing pencil pen excuse me pen and then stamp so this is what i have for you today i thought this one came out um fun i love the butterflies coordinating with the colors again i'm really working hard to make the colors pop and uh, make it interesting in my art journals so i thank you i hope you have a great week and that you have good weather where you are and that you're able to accomplish things that you want to accomplish that make you feel good. Thank you so much. I love you so much. And thank you so much for following and liking my page. I appreciate you.